so did the quietness you love the quietness or you feel that you should be talking okay keep talking now let's come to our next friend and the name of the friend is r r and how do we pronounce the sound r and we say r r okay so do you see a girl here her name is rita her name is rita r r rita rita had a friend whose name was rabbit ronnie the rabbit she had a friend ronnie the rabbit rita loved rabbit but she was always worried and you know very she used to feel really bad about a rat r r rat because this rat used to bite everything in her house so rita though liked her friend ronny the rabbit she did not like the rat at all she, one fine day she and the rabbit were sitting and listening to the radio when she said ronny i do not like this rat the the rabbit said what happened rita then rita said don't you see this radio can't you see the wire this little naughty rat has cut the wire and it's so difficult for me to mend these things i'm really really tired of this rat can you do something about this rat can you just go and throw her out of the house i do not even know where the rat lives ronny rabbit said rats actually help to some extent rita the rats would eat some insects or some other small animals that that could harm you rita said look ronny i do not want this rat any more in my house could you please go and find this rat and throw her out of my house ronny rabbit thought that maybe rita really does not want this rat to be in the house so ronny rabbit went in the search of this rat he kept on sniffing kept on jumping from one room to the other to find where the rat was suddenly he heard some sound it was the sound of rains it was the sound of rains ronny rabbit liked rains so he went out and started enjoying in the rain just then he saw a beautiful rainbow in the sky ronny rabbit started jumping out of joy and he said wow what a weather and rita wants me to find a rat i want to enjoy the weather just while he was dancing in the rain enjoying the rainbow the rat came and did tuck tuck oh rabbit what are you doing rabbit got surprised and he said how dare you i have been looking for you all this while now i am literally going to throw you out of the house the rat said i am already out of the house and so are you ronny said oh dear rat do not try to fool me i am outside enjoying the rain and the rainbow you are outside the house and i will ensure that you never go inside the house rat said okay no worries i will not go inside the house but do you know that i had once saved you rabbit said you and saved me do not joke with me the rat let me enjoy the rain and the rainbow ronnie's the rat said to ronnie ronnie when you were very young you were little you had got trapped inside a net i had cut that net to help you come out of the net and today you want me to be thrown out of the house how selfish are you ronnie ronnie rabbit said look my master rita doesn't want you in the house anymore 
So I do not have any other option but not to allow you inside the house. The rat said, I had gone inside the house out of my own will and I will only leave when I feel like. You are no one to tell me whether I should go inside or not. Ronnie Rabbit got very angry and told, Rat, you are crossing your limits. Just then, they, s they heard Rita's voice. Rita was shouting, Ronnie, Ronnie, could you please come and help me? Ronnie Rabbit thought, I'm enjoying the weather. Rita doesn't want me to enjoy this rain and rainbow. Let me go inside and see. When he went inside, he saw that Rita was inside the storehouse and she was cleaning the storehouse and suddenly a net fell on her. Ronnie Rabbit said, Rita, I really do not know how to help you. Just then, the rat came and said, did I not tell you that I will be of help to you? And then Ronnie, the rat, started cutting the net. When the rat had cut the net, Rita stood still and she thought, even though I think that the rat disturbs me, it is also helpful. So just like Ronnie stays in my house, I will allow this rat also to stay in my house. And then she said, oh dear rat, I have a pet and his name is Ronnie. Can I call you Robbie? The rat said, I do not mind as long as I can live in this house. And they lived happily ever after. So R R Rita had now has two pets, R R Rabbit and R R Rat. And whenever it rains and there is rainbow, all three of them play the radio in full volume and dance in the rain. Do you also have such stories to tell? Keep telling stories. Now, we have our friend whose name is S. And the sound that S produces is S. S. Okay? S. All right. Now, I'm going to tell about a girl whose name was S. S. Sammy. Sammy was a very Poor girl. She did not have her parents. She was an orphan and she used to live in an orphanage. And often she used to feel sad. Sammy often used to feel sad because she had never seen her parents and she wanted a family. But she always felt aloof and that's why she was sad. One fine day, while she was walking around the orphanage, she saw a little sunflower swaying her head. There was only one flower in the pot and it was swaying her head. So there was a sunflower who was swaying her head. Sammy went to her and asked, Oh dear sunflower, I do not see your parents here, yet you are so happy and I am so sad. Why do I always feel so sad? The sunflower said, Oh dear Sammy, look at the sky. Sammy looked up at the sky and she said, Do you see that bright sun? I treat the sun as my parents. Sammy said, But how? The sunflower said, whenever I look up at the sky, the sun shines and the, the energy that I get from the sun rays makes me feel better. And the, every time the sun shines on me, I sway with happiness. Sammy said, but who do I make my parents? I have never seen my parents. Then the sunflower said, at night, Look up at the sky again and then come and talk to me. Sami was eagerly waiting for the night to come. When the night came, she, she looked up at the sky and she saw one bright star. When she looked at the star, she saw another bright star beside the star that she looked at. So there were two bright stars. And the moment she looked at them, the stars started twinkling. 
She ran to the sunflower and said, Oh dear sunflower, there are two bright stars who are looking at me and smiling. The sunflower said, Treat those stars as your parents and start feeling happy. If God has taken something from you, he has given something back and be happy about that. Sammy came back and looked at those two stars and felt happy. So, Sammy sad, sky, sun, star and sunflower. So always try to find happiness around you. Now we move to our friend whose name is T. 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 Okay. So now what's the girl's name? Her name is Tina. The girl's name is Tina. Boys do not feel bad. You can, you can make Tommy. You can make Tom. Okay. Whatever you want. I have taken girls because I have got some fascination towards girls. Okay. So now Tina was a little girl who was very talkative. T -t talkative. She used to talk a lot in the class. Talking is good, but what did I say? When the teacher is teaching you, you should not be talking. So Tina started talking while the teacher was teaching. T -t teacher, t -t teacher, t -t talking. It was then that the teacher got really furious and she said, Tina, get out of my class. Stand outside for 10 minutes till the time I call you. Tina was very sad and she was in tears. She started crying and she said, teacher, I'm so sorry. I will not repeat myself. But the teacher was very angry and she said, go out for 10 minutes at least. Tina put her head down and started walking. Just then, the teacher held Tina's hand and gave her a teddy bear. And she said, Tina, I did not want to punish you, but when I am in the class and talking to you, please do not talk because I am teaching something to you. So I'm sorry that I was harsh on you. So play with this teddy bear and feel happy. Okay? So do not talk when your teacher teaches you, but it's t t Tina, t t talk, t t teacher, t t teddy bear, t t ten, and t t tears. Let there be no tears, only happiness. Okay, so let's now move on and see who are our next friends. Our next friend is the letter U. Okay, the letter U. Now, what do you see here? And what is the sound that U produces? Ah, you and me, us. You and me are us. You and me together make us. One fine day, Ultra and Umbra went out for a walk and while they were walking, they saw some droplets falling on their head. They looked up and saw that it's about to rain. So, Ultra took out an umbrella and said to Umbra, Amra, this umbrella is for us. Come under it. Very short story about Ultra and Amra who looked up to see what's happening because they could feel some water droplets coming and then they realized it's going to rain. So Amra took out her umbrella and told to Ultra, come under the umbrella because this umbrella is for both of us. You are a Umbrella, a uh, a uh, up, a uh, a uh, under, a uh, a uh, us. So 
So we are all together. All right. We will look at one last letter here and then the rest of the letters we are going to see in the other section. Okay, so what letter is this? This is letter V. 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 Now, this story is about Varun. Okay, again a very short story so that you remember it. Varun and family went for a v -v vacation. V -v vacation. Varun and family went for a v -v vacation. They went in a v -v vehicle. V -v vehicle. And what kind of a vehicle was that? That was a van. Varun had a vehicle which was a van. And what was the color of the van? It was violet. Violet. So Varun and family went on a vacation in their own vehicle which was a violet van. Wa wa Varun. Wa wa vacation. Wa wa vehicle. Wa wa van. Wa wa violet. Vacation. Vehicle. We wa. Vacation. Vehicle. Violet. Van. Varun. Okay. I'm sure you all also like to go for vacations. So enjoy your vacations whenever you get one. Thanks for watching.